expected that you know the, the government is actually making uh, you know they are uh, suffering you know the, uh, big losses and uh, as a result of which if we are going to extend it further the whole economic situation would become more tougher so he did explain well as to what was the reason uh, he need to have it uh, you know the um, the lockdown to be sort of like uh, removed but of course with uh, strict conditions line you know but of course uh, the various uh, states of the country uh, you are right they they are saying that you know from the results of yesterday the new cases that's coming in it is alarming it's not any yeah. alarming now we we are we are supposed to uh, get it in a manageable manner before you know lifting the lockdown so this is where many of the uh, government i mean many of the state bodies were uh, not in favor and as a result now some are deciding to continue some are putting the whole thing to halt so uh, i think um, the best is to leave it uh, they bring it to back to the uh, to the authorities to reconsider it now i think the government has done a commendable job in uh, in the last 6 uh, weeks to actually uh, in a way control the this uh, spread of this uh, covid 19 uh, you know we was really acknowledge the all the authorities the police the army and then of course the the ministry of health and also the the members of parliament uh, the ministers who have actually coordinated in the even though they were brought in at the last minute i mean and, and they were told to uh, manage this covid 19 they uh, have um, i think they must acknowledge them anything so i i completely agree because this is uh, this is totally a new experience in this nation over over the period of time uh, we have never ever experienced uh, uh, such a serious nature and the government of the day is able to take control and they have implemented various measures and we saw a drastic you know a uh, drop uh, and in the management of this covid-19 and uh, we can be uh, very proud about it because i think we need to give the credit where it is due eh? it's uh, they certainly uh, you know need to be acknowledged we need to be very thankful for what they have done under the circumstances yeah, under the circumstances now the very hope we don't have to go back into the the uh, back again to if you have to lock down like certain country they open the economy and then subsequently they have to lock it down like in country like japan and germany so anyway let i think the people have to uh, cooperate in this uh, for this exercise they don't think so huh? i think if we can get the people to at least uh, practice what has been uh, uh, what the sops are i think that we should uh, give it a chance huh? to 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 prove people that we can do as a nation but but uh, i i think you see looking back at during the mco there were more than 1000 uh, offenders you know that means uh, they violated they are not serious about it and uh, you know um, it was a good measure that the total country was on a lockdown so the cases were not much but now now that we have actually opened it up we're going to open it tomorrow if we are opening up the flood gates really the opening up the flood gates as such here we are going to be exposed and not everyone is going to follow strictly to the the sops that is laid down now so that the fear is there that you know uh, an individual going out from the house right now maybe to work and he gets himself infected comes back home and pass it back to the entire members of the family you know that this is a very serious thing you know so over the last weeks we didn't have that uh, we were very safe and we were able to contain but I think tomorrow is going to be a new experience altogether, and you are right. And this is going to be in such a great, uh, you know, magnitude. And a second, you know, wave is a very serious thing uh, that that we need to consider uh, the consequences of it. But uh, I guess the the only solution is to give it a shot. Okay, yeah. Um, I think the only there's no they've got there's no precedence of. the obstacle this kind of things being uh, practiced so i think we just have to give it a shot i think we have to all all the advise all the citizens to actually cooperate and uh, uh, you know practice the uh, what has been practiced uh, today they have also announced about sitting in the trains they will have, have only half capacity and then the buses also go at half capacity uh, 
people have to uh, I mean respect each other and uh, know when the train is um, full not to go inside the, uh, or take precaution on this uh, going into the train and public transport I hope they don't go haywire huh? yes uh, that what I think they will be look forward to see that lah. because we don't want to go back home in the evening and find the cases uh, go to double triple digit <laughs> due to our carelessness yeah, then that's the price uh, that we need to pay, you know. That's the price we need to pay. And I quite am in favor of, uh, you know, those uh, uh, those uh, several bodies who wanted further extension, perhaps another two more weeks, another four more weeks to, to bring the thing in a better effective control, uh, you know, before opening up the whole thing. And, and I think if you are right, uh, we need to give it a try. Uh, but then this is a very, very, you've got to pay a very heavy price for that, you know. And uh, my big question is going to be, having opened, um, you know, the, the rather the lockdown uh, on Monday, and if on Tuesday and Wednesday you're going to get big figures, you know, yesterday was 105, that's huge, you know, over the long period of time. And for you to go and do another lockdown, it doesn't make any sense, lah, you know, that means uh, a wrong decision is taken. So uh, there's two, two sides of the story here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, and I think you're right. We need to give this uh, go to... Uh, with, with, with strict measures. I mean, the, the, the question is strict measures. So, the, okay, moving on. Uh, the uh, So, now the, uh, what do you think, the, what do you think we can advise, uh, what do you think how the people are going to accept this, uh, like, you know, going visiting, uh, imagine going to the to, uh, the uh, eateries or going visiting the offices, you know, they will be, uh, have to now, companies have actually decided not to open immediately because they have to adjust all the seating. So I think uh, company, the shops also have to sanitize themselves and uh, wear masks. How do you think this will affect the uh, people's perception of uh, going out to eat and uh, you know going to the supermarket itself? You can imagine going. Nobody has bought any clothes and clothing and things like that, especially now for Haraya. They'll have to all have to go out there, and there's no, uh, you know, it's they be very hard to crowd control, or people have to control oh. themselves. True, uh, but I think I think it's a good measure because I think uh, by doing all this restriction, I think we are passing the message. The message is: look, this is a very serious situation. It is going to cause a lot of inconveniences. It's going to get take time. There's going to be a lot of protests. But the back to basic is a very serious matter. So uh, the the uh, I mean the the authorities in position will have to exercise exercise strict discipline to do so, like. Because if you are not going to, if you are going to let this go, I think it's going to be another uh, big issue to address, uh, which for which we are not prepared. I think the, uh, I mean, I hope I don't sound too uh, critical, huh? but um, you see, we we have to be also quite. I hope I can be quite open here. See the this COVID nineteen. Of course, I'm not a doctor to to say this stuff, but I see the COVID nineteen. Actually, if people look after themselves, wear masks. Uh, sanit proper sanitization, eat or keep away from uh, certain places, uh, don't mix with, uh, don't have this uh, much social contact uh, because you don't know who is the carrier. You know, some people are carriers, but they may not be having the, the thing. But the other thing, I think, you, because you see, Malaysia can come out of it and then the other countries not come out of it. And then if you go up, ding dong, ding dong, uh, you see, like Singapore certainly has now got about 15, 16,000 cases all of a sudden uh, over the last uh, two weeks. Now they have to go into complete lockdown. But uh, it's, it's, it's never fin this will never end, you know, because it will never end how when it will be actually when everything will be complete. Because it will be, as they say, I think this, this COVID-19 will be around for a while until you get the virus. But I think if people were to, uh, countries like uh, Taiwan, where people have actually followed the social distancing and uh, the government all cooperating, they have brought the cases down without any help and to a very to flatten the curve. So that's a very good example of um, exactly how uh, we can cope uh, rather than you know waiting here and waiting for the virus. By the time we wait for the virus, I think our countries will all be in a very serious uh, jeopardy. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we, we, are we, are, we are looking at an invisible enemy, you know. It's, not, it's invisible. It's there up in the yeah. air. Yeah. And, um, 
you don't know who is going to be the next victim, so to speak. Right? But because, I, uh, having observed, I realized those uh, families who have victims, they take it more seriously than those who have not encountered. Because uh, the back to basic is, oh, it's not going to happen to me, you know. Uh, it's mm -hmm. going to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. If one is going to have that common attitude, I think that is dangerous. Uh, because not only is going to be uh, not so good for you, but also to the loved ones that you are closely associated with. Uh, you know? Now, um, you know, for other countries that you mentioned, that they have taken such drastic measure because they have experienced similar calamities uh, in their region before. Whereas Malaysia, we want to thank God we didn't have, go through such a you know kind of a calamities like huh? so um, so we are still not very serious about it so the the enforcement by the the authorities actually need to take uh, precedence over all the other things that have been uh, you know uh, people are suggesting so that it's a serious matter it is a very uh, a serious matter yeah because you never i don't think this covid 19 will go people have to actually in the end of the day look after themselves take up look after themselves uh, as they say, there's no cure. There's no. There's no. Uh, there's no magic pill eh, for this uh, COVID-19. Especially, uh, it's best is to prevention is better than cure. I think it comes to that. Lah. So uh, the other thing also now, this COVID-19, uh, it affects people our age, in our you know, in the 50s and uh, everybody who has vaccines. Of course, there are some exceptional cases, but most of the majority of the cases of the deaths for people in there. With an existing health issue, or and who were, um, in, uh, what, what shall I say, uh, in in uh, communic in uh, what in 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 touch with uh, somebody effect infected, and uh, those who have actually been uh, not having any pre-existing pre illnesses were quickly they quickly overcame it. But those who actually succumbed to it were those who all had. All had uh, uh, history of some illness like diabetes, and so what do you think? Have advice of people our age like this uh, kind of uh, situation? Yeah, that, that, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's. I don't think we can all stay at home. Huh? We also have, we are also young and able huh? as businessmen. Many of us are in the business, so yeah, we can advise uh, those who actually have to actively uh, participate in the various field like yourself, myself. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that's that's uh, that's an excellent uh, you know suggestion. But I think first and foremost, I think we we must come away uh, from the denial mood. La. We must acknowledge that this can happen, and uh, we who are of senior age, uh, we are actually we are the high risk target as far as this particular um, you know issue is concerned. So first of all, I think we would want to encourage. Keep away, be, be away from this, uh, you know, these high risk areas. And of course, uh, uh, the other part is you need to personally build up your own immunity system uh, by having good meals. And then you are able to, you know, uh, 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 you have good meals, you do regular exercise and uh, you need to have good sleep, seven to eight hours of sleep, the generation of yourself. And that is going to definitely going to make a lot of difference in everyone's life. And of course, important of all, I think this is an opportunity. We also, as seniors, we want to learn new things. We need to uh, cut down our exposure to other third parties, you know, who presumably could be, you know, carriers. We want to keep, uh, you know, away by uh, probably we, we, we do some new studies, uh, communication in the media so that we can avoid this you know, face-to-face -face contact with, uh, with people. And of course, we are looking at uh, uh, an opportunity to learn new technology. And important of all, I think we need to be also careful. We must be aware that each time you are not well, you feel not so comfortable. I think you don't wait for anyone else, but go up and seek medical uh, you know, attention so that in an early stage, things can be preventable. Is it? So uh, we do not want to take the, you know, take it easy kind of attitude to go by because I think um, at the end of the day, you see from the world records is the seniors were the first uh, ones who are tremendously impacted. And of course, the result can show for itself. So I completely agree with you that we need to, you know, take some steps further uh, to avoid a situation uh, that can really put us into serious trouble. Yeah. You see, like myself, I was just also uh, 
it's found that uh, this thing only affects people. I mean, people who have ex existing. We, of course, we have been. I've been always propagating to a lot of my peers and friends to all these case to keep healthy. But as I guess, as you reach a certain age when you have achieved everything, sometimes it's to keep the discipline up. It's uh, rather difficult. So over the last five weeks, uh, being at home, I've actually found. Uh, you know, I've been able to. I would say. Uh, Succumb, not succumb to it by you know being able to cook. I I do stay by myself. I mean, cook every meal at home. We didn't use any grab or or, or whatever other 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 guys delivery services. Didn't go out for any tea or eh. But everything was done at home. As a one, as I'm basically a single person, has been able to do that at home. I think uh, this is something which I would like to uh, inspire others who are actually uh, you know fortunate they have a wife. To to uh, to uh, to uh, work do with them, and of course those who are not, we can only like myself. We have pick up a lot of new skills like uh, baking, my own things, uh, and uh, besides cooking, and then uh, you know, more on the internet and uh, found out this kind of communication tools to do our continue our business. As uh, many young people today have uh, found using this, they are not going to use telephone any much more. They are using this. Vehicles like Zoom, go to webinars. Uh, this one we are using currently, Streamyard. So let's uh, reach out to th those people who have may not seen, not heard of all this uh, kind of uh, technology. Uh, you know, to accept this way of the way of uh, going to be communication. So still things can still continue as business can still continue by using those companies are using. I think they call it uh, Microsoft uh, Microsoft Teams. To communicate, so business can still continue. Let's not look too much on the gloom and gloom. Yeah, Andy. So I think that time's coming up. Uh, maybe we can say your last any last words you'd like to say to any of the people. We can uh, inform outside. Uh, yeah, thank you. I think it is uh, is an experience of our lifetime. You know, uh, many of us in 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 our age category, we have not seen something so drastic. And um, uh, we are grateful that you know that we are able we are able to uh, overcome at such a short period of time and maintaining back uh, you know um, good health as well as also uh, the, the negative figures around the country. So it is a good experience. It's a learning curve for each one of us. Like right? so, uh, it is true. And uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to learn and how we are able to cope and how are we going to adjust uh, in our life is important because. I think if you are looking at leaving a legacy behind uh, hmm. our loved one, I think this is an excellent opportunity, lah. Like, because you know some of the cases that has happened is a very sad thing. You know those who are not well, they fall sick. They have to go to the hospital themselves alone. There cannot mm -hmm. be another person accompanying them. And then if something should happen, you know they are all on their own. It's a very sad. You know hearing them, hearing the experience they go through. Uh, it's a very sad experience, lah. Like. So. Uh, I think uh, we, we, until and unless uh, we know, come to know about it, we are not going to make any corrective measures. So I think it is an excellent time uh, that we have actually encountered this situation in our life. It's a new learning curve, and I think it shape shape us to be better persons to handle, you know, uh, crises huh? uh, when in future it comes by. You know? So um, uh, true. I think we need to be aware, and uh, this is a good opportunity. For us to, you know, convey messages that we can uh, learn from one another. Uh, let us be not independent, but be dependent on one another to see through this nation of Malaysia. So thank then, you. I want to say thank you for opportunity, my friend. So uh, there we are. I think uh, we just uh, uh, have our first inaugural uh, chat show about this uh, post COVID-19 for in Malaysia. I uh, encourage uh, those who's hearing out. Hearing us here, uh, we'll be bear with whatever this uh, bear with us of any uh, sound if sound and uh, material uh, uh, may not have offended anyone. But uh, just hopefully, what we got here is something we can take back and uh, message to everybody out there, like my our, my the the gray gray community that uh, life is not going to be all doom and gloom, but uh, be courageous and uh, marketing business will still go on. Using all this kind of communication, business will still continue. Just have to open our mind to having this kind. Of. So until next time, we'll uh, like to hear from you. 
for any other talks you like to hear, please uh, email me or, and uh, we'll wish you all the best. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Okay. I, I, uh, now we can, okay, that's, uh, okay, Vivik, Vivik, Vivik still struggling, lah. No, I think, I think he